What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now this is the Verizon variant, which is my carrier of choice due to where I live. Uh, you can see with the packaging it's a little bit different than what we're used to from Samsung in the last few years with their faux wood grain packaging. This is just a more subtle beige, uh, but pretty much the packaging is exactly the same as we've seen in the past. Uh, and it'll just slide out from the side here. Uh, as we open it up, you'll see that we're going to get, bam, sunlight kicking on those chamfered edges. And we're greeted with the Samsung Note 4 right on the top, looking beautiful. But we'll set that to the side. Uh, get to know your phone. I don't need paperwork for that. Uh, we've gotten rid of the USB 3.0 from last year with the Note 3 and went to 2.0 with fast charging. Uh, S Pen replacement tips and replacement tool. And here is your adaptive fast charging wall outlet adapter. Uh, it looks just like the normal Samsung ones, but you will get a 50% uh, charge in 30 minutes with this fast charging. Here's our 3220 milliamp battery, which will give us some long lasting days of juice. And here we can see it. Uh, I'm not sure what they did with this plastic here. It just didn't stick to the side. So it's just flapping all over the place. So, but let's get this bad boy stripped down and naked so we can take a closer look. We'll get the front one off, the back one off, and there it is. And as you can see, the build quality on this one is second to none, especially for a Samsung device. We have all aluminum around the sides. Uh, still faux leather in the back, but we'll get to that later. Pop the battery in, and then the back side here, you also have access to your SIM card tray and your micro SD card tray is also underneath that faux leather back cover. So before we get into the power on, let's get into some of the highlights of this phone. And for me, the star of the show is the 5.7 Quad HD Super AMOLED display with the resolution 2560 by 1440, which gives you 515 PPI, 32 gig onboard storage. You can expand that up to 128 gig with a micro SD card, 16 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization, which you can also shoot 4K video. The front facing camera is a 3.7 megapixel. You have a 3,220 milliamp battery with fast charging. You have a 2.7 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 805 processor, along with the Adreno 420 GPU. And of course the S Pen, the heart rate monitor sensor, and the fingerprint scanner. And here we go with the initial power up. This is a standard that everybody's used to if you powered up any type of Android device really, but especially any Samsung devices in the past year. Uh, the same Samsung bootloader and then of course uh, the big V Verizon red screen to start it all off. Now I'm not going to bore you with the setup of the phone, that's pretty standard, but I want to talk about the build quality for a few seconds. Let's start with the aluminum that wraps around the sides, top, and bottom of this phone. It has a double chamfered edge, which is beautiful. The center is color matched to whatever phone you get. If you get a white phone, that's white. Black, it's black. Pink, it's pink. Me personally, I'd rather that all be just raw aluminum. It's not bad. I'm just worried about it scratching in the future. The removable back cover is again that faux leather, but they've removed that horrible looking stitching that was on the back of the Note 3. And it actually has more of a softer feel to it this time. So I don't know what they've done to that, but they've definitely improved it. You have your volume rocker on the left hand side of the phone. And then you also have your power button on the right hand side of the phone backside is the 16 megapixel shooter, your heart rate sensor, and your LED flash along with your back facing speaker. The bottom you're going to have your S Pen uh, access and then your charging and syncing port as well as two more microphones. The top you're going to have your three and a half millimeter headphone jack, uh, noise canceling microphone, and the IR blaster. Uh, the front of the phone, you have your 3.7 megapixel front facing camera, your uh, appropriate sensors, and then your LED notification light off on the left. And there you see your home button slash fingerprint scanner uh, that is placed at the bottom of the phone. So that's about it for the unboxing portion and the quick tour around it. My first impressions of it are the screen is absolutely amazing. Build quality is second to none, especially for Samsung. This is the best phone they've ever produced. And it is a great, great device. The one thing that I would say is TouchWiz is TouchWiz. 
I've had it lock up on me already. I've had freezes. I've had apps not opening. I've had the camera lock up. I've had it where it will not turn on, but I have had issues with TouchWiz already, which I believe everybody that knows TouchWiz knows that is part of the game. But this is a great phone, uh, an amazing option. The S Pen brings it to another level. So that's going to be about it, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and you're looking for future content like this or more content featuring the Galaxy Note 4. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see in future videos. What would Do you have any questions about the Note 4 that you would like answered, whether in an upcoming video or I'll hit you back right in the comments. So again, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.